Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, November the 29th. It's the last day of the church year. And the scripture for this lesson, or for this service, Psalm 144, and Luke chapter 19, verse 41 to 48. And please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Now listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts, as in the desert long ago, when our forebears provoked God. Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, blessed are you, my God, my strength, who trains my hands for war. Alleluia. Psalm 144. Please recite together with me. Alleluia, blessed are you, my God, my strength, who trains my hands for war and my fingers to fight. My goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, the one in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. O oh God, what are we that you even notice us? Mere mortals that you care about us. Creatures who are like a breeze, our days like a shadow that passes away. Bend your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning, and scatter the foe. Shoot out your arrows, and destroy them. Send your hand from above, and deliver me out of great waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths speak lies, and their right hand is raised in perjury. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. I will sing praises to you. It is you that give salvation to kings, who delivered David, your servant, from the sword. Rid me of alien foes whose mouths speak lies, and their right hands raised in perjury, that our sons may flourish like saplings, and our daughters may be graceful columns, polished as though for a palace, that our barns may be full with crops of every kind, that our sheep may increase by thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be heavy with young, that there be no ruined wall and no exile, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy the people who are blessed, happy are they whose God is the Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, my God, my strength, who trains my hands for war. Alleluia. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 19, beginning at verse 41. As Jesus came near and saw the city, Jerusalem, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognized on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you, and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you. They will not leave within you one stone upon another, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation from God. And then Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, it is written, my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Every day he was teaching in the temple 
The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him. But they did not find anything they could do. For all the people were spellbound by what they heard. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. Please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray, hear us, tender God. For Don and Bill and Tom and Richard and Joe, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For our unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation, and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all of your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray your blessings. Fill us with joy, Almighty God, for you give us the victory and set us free from the enemy. Accept this, our humble praise and song. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.